Guys, RC Outdoors here, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another charger from the folks over at Venom. This time it is for a great beginner charger, the Venom 2-4 cell lithium polymer lithium iron phosphate 3 amp AC-DC balance charger. Like I said, this is a great beginner charger for somebody that wants to get into the hobby and wants a great hobby grade charger. So, what is included in here, you may ask? Well, you get the charger, you get the AC power and you get the DC power input. This charger can charge two two cell batteries or one 4S, one four cell, or one three cell battery. On the side here, you will see your charger, the Venom logo, and what the charger is. On the back, you will get your general warranty policies, your important notices, and your guarantee. On the other side is the same thing, the Venom logo, the charger, and what the charger is. On this side, you will get the specifications. It is a 40 watt charger. It has JST XH 2.5 ports. It is rated at 0 to 3 amps. The input power is AC or DC, AC 100 to 240 volts, or DC 10 to 18 volts. On the bottom, you will have the charger where everything is located on the charger, your specifications, and the features. The part number for this charger is 0683. So let's go ahead and pop the factory seal and open her up. All right. So when you open it up, first thing you will get is your warranty card. So go ahead and activate your warranty. Then you will receive your manual. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you have your contents. You'll have your features, the charger overview, specifications, and the exterior description. How to use the charger, warning, error, and messages, LiPo battery safety guidelines, and continued, and then your warranty and services, and on the back it just has the charger, customer service, and the uh, Venom themselves. So, in this section, you'll receive your AC power lead, your DC power lead, and then over here, you will receive your charger. And then you will get some silica gel, but you do not need that. So, of course, the Venom chargers always have a nice plastic wrap around them. Now, you will have a plastic wrap on the front face and on this face that you will have to remove. I will remove that at a later date. On the bottom, you will receive your warranty number, your date code. On this side, you will receive a bumper your uh, DC power in, and then on this side you will receive your AC power in. On the front you will receive your balance ports, so your 2S ports and your 4S and your 3S. On the top you will receive the display itself, uh, change the type of chemistry your battery is, change the current and the interface. And then you have your cooling fans and the uh, air transfers. So let's go ahead and power it up and I'll show you guys how to use it. So go ahead and plug your power lead into a power source and then make sure when you plug it in the lead is all the way in. When you fire it up you'll come straight to this screen. So to change the chemistry so if you want to do a lithium polymer it should be on lithium polymer. If you want to do a lithium iron phosphate go ahead and click this and it'll change. To change the current that you want to charge your batteries at you press this button as you can see it will change the current. So you can go all the way up to 3 amps or as low as 0.1 amps. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and charge my batteries at 3 amps. Now this charger is a 3 amp charger all by itself. So what this means is that if you plug two 2 cell LiPo batteries in and you're charging at 3 amps, each one is only going to get 1.5 volt. It's not 3 amps per channel. So, when you plug a battery in, it will go ahead and start charging. I'm going to start, I'm going to use my uh, Venom 2000 milliamp hour 2 cell batteries. So when you plug it in, you'll see that it automatically reads it and starts charging. Or, since this battery is full, it will not charge it. So, we'll go ahead and remove that one. And it'll stop. And then you'll go ahead and plug... A battery in 
and it will start charging. So as you can see, I'm charging this battery at three amps. Uh, the voltage of the battery is right here. Since this battery is 8.1 volts, it's charging a LiPo 2 cell. The time that it's been going, if you press the interface, it'll have the cell voltage per cell. If you click it again, it'll show how many milliamps have been pumped into each cell. And then it has the amperage going into each cell. So, now, let's say you want to charge a 3 cell. To stop, you just remove the battery. So, once it stops beeping, you'll be able to plug in another battery. So this time I'm going to charge my Venom 13 milliamp hour 20C 3 cell. So since I do charge this battery at 3 amps, I'll go ahead and keep it at 3 amps. Go ahead and plug in your battery, and it will begin charging. As you can see, it's at 3 amps, the battery voltage, the time it's been taking, LiPo 3 cell, and it is charging. Each cell, so 4.07, 3.96, and 3.94. The milliamps been, have, that have been pumped in, and the amps going into each cell. So, this would be a great charger for somebody that wants to get into the hobby, like I said, or that has these small batteries and wants to be able to charge them on the go. The DC power cable that's included does have a port, and then it has your uh, alligator clips. So... Like I said, this would be great for small batteries. Right now, all these batteries that I have, small ones, these are all for my uh, Low-C Mini 8. Now, if you want to get a drone batteries, you can do uh, drone batteries. Right now, I'm using this 3-cell in my uh, Sima, or SEMA X8W. I, I don't think I'm going to be doing a video on the drone. I might. Um, it's pretty bashed up. I've been running it a good while. Um, I just don't think I'll be able to really get a good video on it. So now if I get another drone, be sure that I'll uh, make sure to make a, another video for you guys. I am going to be trying to get some running videos out. Um, I just, I was driving my uh, Torment getting ready to do a video and the servo jammed and I slammed into a uh, power pole and it shattered the chassis. It's in about 50 pieces and then the uh, body of it shattered. So I will be... Um, trying to get replacement parts, rebuild it, and I should get that out within the next couple of months. Um, I'll try my best though. So of course you guys, of course guys, thank you guys for watching. Got any comments about this charger or anything RC related, leave them down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.